Oh, there's a pretty boy. Hey guys, welcome to the Hunter Call of the Wild. I'm at Squister, and today we're going to be checking out the newly resetted Whitetail here in Layton Lakes. Before we hop in today's video, guys, I do want to ask of you one thing. If you can go down below, smash that like button, and subscribe, it would be much appreciated, and it helps out the YouTube algorithms very, very much. So instantly, I'm noticing that whitetail are drinking down by the water, finally. I'm up here at Rena or Wilpeg, not Renaki. Um, and if you guys are wondering what that is, that's just Medved glitching into my map. Okay, there we go. <laughs> because I was on Medved a minute ago. And I'm instantly noticing that whitetail are drinking down by the water, which is a huge, huge, huge improvement. Because before, like... This one's a little bit up in the tree, but before they'd be behind these trees and stuff, and they weren't even shootable, so. Huge improvement. Straight up 10 out of 10 on that. I'm gonna take a couple of these guys. I do use the 300 because it kills them no matter where you hit them. And you don't have to worry about taking vital shots. But I still always do try to take a couple vital shots, just to make sure it's easier to track it. So, here in Layton Lakes, white tail drink from 8 or 8.30 until 12 or 12.30. It is currently 9.46, and we are getting awesome spawns. Layton Lakes isn't known for the fastest zone entering. It's more rancho, but instantly liking our spawns. There's our big boy. So, let's take a look at the new trophy card. New trophy card is awesome. He should have been a easy gold, as you guys can see. But, uh, he was not because I used the 300. So with this new update, guys, if you guys have originally been hunting on Layton, which I'm assuming you are because it's a base game, you will see it's weird as heck and I can't even believe it. Layton is bare. It's naked, basically. There is no zones anywhere. I used to just be packed with zones here. I have, like, two white tail zones. I used to have all 74. There's a lot of zones in this map. So guys, you will find whitetail practically anywhere there's water. They are all up and down the Renaki River here. They are up here in Winnipeg. They are not at High Lake still. They are not in this little bay right here. They are not up here anymore. I ran the entire river with my friend Jackson, and he uh, he has all of his zones because he loves Layton. And you will find them still in Balmount, but you will not find any whitetail at this lake, which used to be a crazy hot spot, and I found that I found that really insane. And there's still no white tail at these lakes from my friend Jackson's uh, perspective, I guess. I looked at his map. And there is two zones here, one zone here, and you still don't find them at these two lakes. So practically anywhere there's water besides two or three different lakes. And I just wanted to let you know, guys, I did physically check all those on my own. I was just in multiplayer doing it with my friends, so like, why not do it with your friend instead of doing it on your own, right? So with the new reset, guys, everyone will have diamonds and rares on their map. So if you guys go in, check all the spots that I just showed, you are guaranteed to find a diamond or a rare. The reason for that is, is because EW does population resets, and that's why all your zones vanish. And when you find new zones, just like if you, it's just like if you rebought the map, but it's free. Definitely would recommend going through to all of your maps, including Revan Tuli, because that one just has trophies on it in general. I recommend going through all of your maps, making sure there is uh, making sure there is no trophies on there. Go through, get all your diamonds, all your rares, especially Silver Ridge Peaks. That's just a diamondy map in general. Okay, guys, we're entering 10:30, and I still don't have any spawns anywhere. So they might have decreased the spawn race of Whitetail because it was very hot in late in before. It just took a while for them to get into their zones, yes, but this when they were into their zones, there was just an absolute pile of them. And I'm halfway up Balmow, and I still don't have any spawns. All right, guys, here we go. I am finding that there are more up here by Heightened Peaks. I find there's an absolute pile of them on this lake right here and down this river right here. Okay, guys, so we have an absolutely massive two miner up there. He's might be even diamond potential. See his rack sitting there? <laughs> Sorry if you can hear my controller clicking, I'll move it out of the way. Yeah, it's, he's huge. He is 225 maximum, so he's not diamond potential, but he's still huge. Oh, a new drink zone! Yeah, there is a ton of them up here. Put this to 164 and drop him. Why is it not letting me spot him? Okay. I swear if he turns. Or drop him. There we go. Maybe we can pull this guy as well. Maybe? No? 
Okay. Oh, he is wide. Wow. 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 He's huge. He's wide. He's not huge. He's wide. All right, guys. There's an even bigger deer. Come on. Hop. Okay, I got him. I got him. I got him. Oh, he was huge. Okay, that deer was huge. He's diamond potential, guys. He might have been a level three. I couldn't even. I didn't even look. He was 261 is his max. So I don't think he can do it. He didn't really look wide enough. Is he? He might be. This guy might be. Nope. He curls in way too far right here. Gold 225.20. So he got. Yeah, he's pretty nice. I'd say he's pretty nice. Okay, guys, so here's the other smaller deer. He is a 214. He's not that bad. If his uh, rack was, like, if you guys can see where it curls in, I'll, like, put a mark on it or something when I edit the video. If it was wider, he would make diamond, or he would be diamond potential at least. So, like I said earlier, I am finding tons of deer right around this uh, outpost right here. It is the... We'll peg outposts, I knew that. And I'm finding just tons of deer down this river right here, up to this intersection right here, and then it kind of just dies. Anyways, that's going to wrap it up for today, guys. I'm probably going to play for a few more hours off camera, and at the end of today's video, well, in the next clip, I'll put a uh, screenshot of a hotspot guide. So I'm going to do some experience with Whitetail for the next few hours, and I'll see you guys in the next video. So guys, for Layton Lakes, I do bring quite a bit of things with me. I bring the 300 Magnum, the Zarza 308 Moonlight, the Apex View binoculars, Antler Rattler for, uh, I think, yeah, for Black Tail Deer, the Moose Collar, the Elk Collar, and the Deer Grunt Collar. And the reason I use the Grunt Collar is because it has the most range. I find that it works almost 273 meters away, and it is very effective, as you can see. There's Whitetail talking to me.